can't put this shit together, you know what I mean? To the channel, so again, the next video I was gonna do was gonna be Dana White explaining what happened with Conor McGregor and how he got in and whatever the hell else happened to him. And is he gonna be suspended or what's gonna happen with Conor McGregor? So let's check out, see what Dana White's gonna say. This, I don't know what's he gonna do, man. He's supposed to fight in September, but like, man, probably not now. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't have any canned statements or anything to say other than what happened here today is Conor and approximately 20 guys. Uh, Twenty guys, man. Through the doors by the Mac Life guys, who were uh, credentialed here. They opened the doors for them through an entrance. They stormed the building, got down to the uh, to the uh, loading docks where the fighters were getting on the buses and started to attack Dang. Um, the buses, throwing trash cans and uh, dollies and things like that. <laughs> Broke one of the windows. Dang. And cut Michael Chiesa really bad. Um, he, had glass, he cut his head. He cut his face. Um, Rose Namajunas apparently was almost hit. She's super upset right now. What? Basically left and walked back to the hotel. Um, and uh, hurt one of our employees. Broke one of our employees' knuckles and uh, other injuries. This dude trying to injure, injure my girl, Robert Thug Rose. Rose. What the freak, Connor? 30 thugs. Storma. You know, these guys are all cutting weight. Getting ready for a fight. This is the most disgusting thing that has ever happened in the history of the country. UFC. That's crazy. And uh, police are looking for Connor. There's a warrant out for Connor McGregor's arrest. Dang. And um, uh, they're looking for him right now. His plane cannot take off. He cannot leave the state of New York hmm. uh, with this warrant. They, they're, they'll be grounded. And uh, I'm assuming eventually, if they don't catch him, he'll turn himself in. Yeah. Um, he'll have to. You can imagine. He's going to be sued beyond belief. Yep. And uh, this was a real bad career move for him. All that money he got from Floyd Mayweather, right? He about to give it right back. He's at the hospital now. So we're just waiting to find out how bad the cut is. Right. Cuts. 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 He's all cut up. Rose, you said she was pretty upset. I mean, has she talked about it? Like, I have I'm, to, not I'm, going to, I'm going to see her next. And how about your professional relationship with Connor? It's not good. Yeah. I, I, I think that after this disgusting... Yeah. Despicable move. I think everybody's relationship with Connor is it's, yeah. be not so great. I mean, even the police officer who came to, to me about this is like, God, I was a fan of his too. Yeah. Not anymore. I yeah. Mean, this is this is the type of bad decision you make that that turns a lot of people off uh, against you. You know, he attacked a bus. Listen, I, he's got some beef with Khabib. Yeah. Because of the Artem thing that went down. Yeah. You don't you don't come into Barclay Center, yeah. attack people that are in a bus who are fighting the next day. Yeah. And the worst part is the women that were on the yeah, bus. That's, dude, the yeah. Fighters. Rose is a fighter. Yeah. And Carolina are fighters. But yeah. these, these these goons are throwing, uh, you know, bike racks and chairs and things like that through the windows of the bus and didn't care who they hit or who they hurt. Yeah. My poor so, thug Rose. Are there any steps you can take? I mean, obviously, you got to let the legal process play out, but are there any steps you can take? As a promotion against Connor at this time, I, I haven't even talked to my crew right now, and obviously, you know, we're, we're disgusted with him right now, completely disgusted, and uh, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I, I gotta regroup, and you know, we have a fight this Saturday, yeah, and that's what I need to focus on and make sure that these fighters are okay and get through this fight on Saturday. But yeah, um, the answer to that is yes. <laughs> the, the, the question is what. Have you tried to reach out directly yet to him? No. No. I'll never do it. Yeah, I knew I knew last night that he was in town. Yeah. A lot of people we saw that what? Oh, they're all on video. Yeah, we saw Connor though. Yeah. Absolutely throwing things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Connor's the one that threw the chair through the bus window, right? Yeah. yeah. It's all on video. Not yeah. only... Were people shooting from inside the bus? People were shooting from outside, outside the bus. bus and the security cameras that they have downstairs. Caught everything. Everything's on camera, including the Mac Life guys letting them in the in the doors. Yeah, no, they're getting sued too. Yeah, I know it's fresh, but you want to be in business with Tom McGregor? Yeah, no, right now, no. Yeah, right now, no. Absolutely not. What do you make of? I mean, why? I mean, do you, make of this? Do you want to be in business with Conor McGregor right now? <laughs> no. Do you want to chase this guy around for interviews and, nope. and buy his fights? No. 
Do you? Nope. I don't think I don't think anybody is, is going to want him right now. No, I think everybody's going to be pretty disgusted with Conor McGregor. Right now. Um, you know, listen, you don't like Khabib and you don't like what happened or whatever. Why happened to me? You can come in here and you can do it legally. Yeah, in Octagon. If this fight's happening Saturday. We could have talked and made the Khabib, Khabib Con- fight right Con- after. You can yeah. do whatever you wanted to Khabib within the limits of the rules of, of, of you know, fighting. Yeah. But you want to grab 30 friends and come down here and uh, and do what you did today? It's disgusting. Yeah. And I don't think anybody is going to be, uh, you know, huge Conor McGregor fans after this. Nope. You know him in a way that a lot of people don't. What do you, what do you make of this? Do I don't, I don't know. I don't know if he's on drugs or what his deal is, yeah. you know, but to come and do this and, and, and act like this, you know, and you're talking about a guy who has a baby. He just yeah. had a kid. This, this is how you're acting? You have a son at home. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Probably. It looks like it. Yeah. Um, no. I think he came because he was interested in the fight, and I think that it escalated to this. I heard Artem might have been in that group of people. Do you know if Artem was Artem there? was. Artem's off the card. Artem's not fighting. So that wow. Not happening. Yeah. I guess, I mean, it's kind of a small part of the story, but the Mac Life credential media. Go. I hope they get arrested, too. Yeah. I hope the two guys from Mac Life get arrested, too, for being involved. They have it all on film. Yeah. They just, the police just came and told us that those were the guys who let them in. So hopefully they get arrested, too. Yeah, of course not, dude. What the fuck? What question is that? <laughs> you know the answer, so dude. Why do you ask Dana White the question? Step. I mean, Kiesa's health, I guess, is, is priority number one. And I guess you said you're going to talk to Rose. And then what's the next step as far as Connor? I mean, you let the whole legal no, process play fight. out. Oh, yeah, yeah. The police are going to take care of Connor. Yeah. The police are going to handle Connor. And, uh, you know, I, I know that a handful of people here are ready that are filing lawsuits against Connor. Right? Yep. Um, God knows how many lawsuits he's going to have by the time this is done. Make sure that Rose is okay. My poor and, thug uh, Rose, man. You know, Mike's okay, and so we'll go from there. We'll get this fight out of the way. And uh, what about Connor later? The rest of it. One of the worst days you've ever had on this job. No, that's, come on, this has never happened. Yeah, never happened in, in my history of being with UFC. Listen, th- th- this is a fight game. Mean things are said. People get in each other's faces. People grab each other and do stuff like that. It's completely normal. And it's, we always, you know, contain it and handle it as part of the business. But what happened today was criminal. Yep. Um, disgusting. Despicable. Yep. Makes me sick. Yep. And uh, we as an organization need to make sure that this never happens again. That's it from Dan and White, people. Just sitting there and listening to that dude. That $100 million he just got from Floyd Mayweather's going through, right? All those damn lawsuits and all them lawyer pays. Like, first of all, why would you even do that? Like, again, if you have beef with Khabib, bro, I agree with Dana White says. Sell it in the octagon, bro. I mean, what's you going and with 20 of your goons, getting chairs, breaking into the fighter's bus, injuring people, almost injuring my thug Rose, De- Connor, injuring other people that are on the fight card. I mean, like, what are you thinking, bro? Again, yeah, he just had a freaking baby. Like, what I think that happened to Conor McGregor, I think he's going to probably get, he's probably going to be done with UFC. He's probably going to be done with UFC. Probably whenever this, whatever he happens with him, boils over, catch him in the dead of the with, with, with Ronda Rousey probably another year or two. So I think there'll be no more fighting for Conor. He'll going to be released from his contract and catch him a year or two later in the dead of the you my honest opinion. That's probably what's going to happen, so. Don't forget to like the video, guys. Comment down below. Subscribe. And then I'll catch you guys Saturday for a year C223 uh, live reactions here on the channel. And also be reacting to NXT New Orleans and, of course, Sunday. The granddaddy of them all. The big day. Thought we were going to see Conor on freaking on uh, WrestleMania because the reports was that he was going to be invited by Ronda Rousey to be in her entrance. But that's not going to happen. So catch you guys uh, for tomorrow for some more videos. Yeah. DJ Durrell. Yeah. Well, we put this shit together, you know what I mean?